I am excited for it to finally come out because um, I think some people think like, oh, they know what happens. They saw the trailer and they think they know what happens. And it's like you so don't know what happens that like it will be exciting to at least talk about like a couple of twists with people because obviously we wanted it to be very shrouded in mystery and just very vague and, you know, just kind of give people the tiniest breadcrumbs so that they could be surprised by all the various twists and turns. You know, I think it is going to be fun. Like, I, I, I finally watched the movie with a friend, and um, I was like, did you buy all the twists? Or, like, did you see this coming? And they were like, no, I was totally along for the ride. And just when I was like, oh, I see what's happening, they were like, wait, what? It was really great. You know, like, when I first read the script, I didn't know that Paul was directing it, so I just read it as a thriller. And I was reading it thinking, like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of funny. And then I saw that Paul Feig was directing it, and I was like, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be handled so well. And it's just kind of unlike any movie that you've ever seen. It really is. And honestly, I hope people walk away with like their favorite laughs as well, because that's not something that we've been pushing, but it is. it does have some really surprising laughs in it. And I hope that it's one of those movies that, you know, people say like what their favorite funny moment was. Oh my gosh, so I can sleep and not have to worry about... Well, you know what's actually been funny about this movie is there's such amazing content, like all these great photo shoots and all these fun marketing campaigns that I've been so busy on doggone social media and working with them on all this stuff that I'm just excited that it's all going to be out there so I can sleep. You know, it was the best because this script is, and, and the book, is really a, a thriller. And in the hands of Paul Feig, it was very confusing to me because Bridesmaids is like the funniest movie I've ever seen in my life. Um, and all, all of the work that he does has fun and funny in it. But he is the master of taking a genre he loves and then infusing life and fun and, and comedy into, into situations that you wouldn't think can be comedic. I mean, all of it was really fun. It, it's just been such a collaborative process, you know, ha having the, the power with Paul to say, you know, he's like, who do you, what do you want to look like? Who do you want to be? You know, we'd be on set and I'd be like, is this too much? And he's like, yes, it is. Let's do it. <laughs> um, and I, and I love that. I felt so safe. And I know, you know, the, the, the challenges when it comes to sort of suspense thrillers is you can't give away the secrets and, and the twists and the turns. And this film has that in spades. Um, Paul is one of the most phenomenal directors and he has that comedic sort of background. So uh, he's, he's definitely peppered it with his, his little flavor. So it's a, very much a twist on, on a genre that, that has never been done before. You know, there are massive, rabid fans of Anna and Blake out there who are just cannot wait to see something with both of them together. Um, so there's going to be cheers, there's going to be hoots, there's going to be gasps, but, um, but no, people are, people are really going to react to this. I think, you know, luckily I was, I was one of the more sort of normal characters, is that right? I was the grounded right? Where there's sort of such contrasting characters between Emily and Stephanie, um, my character seemed a little bit more subdued. So it was quite nice, it was quite sort of refreshing. I let, all, I let the girls take over, like they are phenomenal. The back and forth that they can get into, um, it's, it's, it's all worth it. So I've got this, this sort of five days to, to sort of chill out a little bit. We're, we're doing some of, this, uh, some of the shows here in New York, but I haven't had much time to chill. It's been about four months on the road, sort of back to back uh, with CRA and now A Simple Favor, but it's been, it's been one hell of a ride, I gotta say, it's, it's amazing. Oh, it's great fun. I mean, we got a list of uh, things, spoilers, not to not to say. But um, you know, I finally got to play one of those ladies who lives in a dilapidated mansion with lots of cats. I'm, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> well, I, I was such a fan of Paul, so I, I was I was thrilled that he asked me to do this. But um, it's it's interesting because, to his credit, I mean, he's so smart and he's so he's so great. He is that. He kind of left it open as we were shooting, so whether or not we were shooting a drama or a comedy, you know, so it's actually a really nice, uh, nice little hybrid. It's a great, awesome escape movie. Blake and Anna are astonishing together because they play these characters that are complete opposites who end up having this bizarre kind of friendship. And it really is a friendship in a very unhealthy, <laughs> unhealthy way. It was fantastic. I, I worked for four years on American Horror Story, so I was used to mixing up horror, comedy, sex, you know, all of it together. And it's my favorite thing to do. I, I like I like movies that bend the genres and mix them up and 
and, and defeat your expectations in some way. Well, I'd have to say, Emily, not that I'm that dark, but because I'm a career mom and I'm trying to juggle, you know, a very busy life, I sort of relate to Emily a little bit more. But the truth is, I'm sort of in both of them. I mean, it's about the most exciting thing I can think of. I'm super proud of the movie. I think Paul did an incredible job. The women are fantastic. I can't now imagine anyone else in those roles. And I just, I'm over the moon. I'm so excited. It was, it was a thrill because I read the script and it starts, you know, um, I started, I was like, oh, this is very funny, it's, the writing is brilliant, it's so playful. And then it got dark and I got scared and I was sitting in my apartment like, oh, this is, this is kind of scary. I think it's the twists and the performances from Anna and Blake and Henry and uh, the world building. I mean, Paul's such an incredible writer and artist and such a beautiful human being when he's on set that he just brings out the best in people. I know it's exciting because you really you know, we guard it so much. We want to make sure that we don't give anything away because there's a lot of potential spoilers. But uh, I'm just excited for it to come out. It's you know, we finished it a few months ago, and it's always that weird thing thing when you're sitting on a movie and like I want people to see it. So we're finally here. Well, that was fun. I'm a huge fan of of thrillers. I love the old Hitchcock movies and, I, and just anything that I think probably the movies and the books I read the most are thrillers. And when this script came in, uh, that was you know Darcy Bell's book, but then uh, Jessica Scharzer had done a, a, a screenplay of it, and there was so many fun twists and turns, but it also made me laugh at the same time. I was like, this is the movie I've been looking for, so I'm so thrilled. Well, don't waste a day, I say. You know. You know, if you live to 80, you're only alive for 28,000 days. That's not very many. So what you want to do is make sure that you kind of take advantage of each day to look good and just put your style on things. You don't have to dress like in a suit and tie, but have a style, I say. Just kind of tell the world who you are through what you wear, and then they'll get to know you through getting to know you personally. It was really interesting because it couldn't have been two different characters. You know, when was this powerhouse character who was, you know, we really wanted to create an, a, a very iconic look and on somebody who absolutely didn't care about fitting in, opposed to Anna's character who was, you know, really trying to, very, very hard to fit in. No, actually there was a wonderful mood boards that I created looking at, you know, all the 30s and 40s actresses that wore, you know, suits, man suiting. And I think I've always personally loved men's suiting and, you know, putting a suit on Blake is a very easy thing to do. And it really evolved, you know, we both, we all simultaneously said, somebody should look just like Paul. I mean, look at him every day. I mean, he's a dream.